today I'm taking you to the Goodwill so that we can go through the store, find cool items, take them home. I'm going to style them for you and show you guys how I style these pieces in my home. So if you're interested in watching how I style these thrift store finds, then just keep watching. it is the next day and I want to do a little haul for you I went ahead and styled everything this morning in my home now I wanted to just say that all these pieces I cannot possibly keep everything in my house that I thrift for there are a few pieces that I am absolutely in love with that I will keep but I was thinking Vendi collections has been on a little bit of a hiatus um, just to process and sort of see where things were going and so I decided that maybe the things that I thrift for this channel will be sort of the items that I will contribute to sell on Vendi Collections. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think that, that is a good idea. Of course, I'll be adding other things that my regular customers are used to seeing. So I wanted to find a way to sort of continue doing this for this channel that you guys all love but at the same time, not have to keep it all. <laughs> I have no problem with donating it either, but I believe that a lot of you guys would love these pieces. And so it's a it's a win-win situation. I can, I can thrift and then sell it to you guys. So, um, all right, without further ado, let me show you some of these pieces. So when I was walking into the store, immediately I go straight to the home decor section and um, there was a shelf that was all staged with wood items. And I found this guy. Um, at first I thought it was a sculpture. <laughs> Can you guys figure out what this is? Sorry, the sun is in and out today. It's a very cloudy day. Um, so it's not a camera trick. This is, I'm sitting right in front of the window. I try to use no um, artificial lights. I just hate the way they look on the skin. But this is a hat rack it's very mid-century um i'm sure that there are some places that make these kind of things um there is a sticker on here but it is worn off and it appears that someone was so nice to put the screws back there um so that was very very helpful and i just love it i love the tones i love the form i love the form of it and you know what? I do need a good hat rack. So I might just wind up putting this up in my dressing room. So I actually staged this hat rack right inside my office here, right by the front door. Um, it looks really cool there. I probably wouldn't put any hats there. I think that it would just look super cool, just like a statement piece, almost like art on the wall. And that's kind of like where I went with it today. So yeah, this was awesome. And I only paid $3.99 for this little mid-century hat rack. The next things I came across were these sconces. Um, they were really interesting. They have a sticker saying made in India in the back. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me <laughs> why these um, metal clips were on there. Apparently there was glass. These were, they had some kind of like a glass insert, um, but I honestly would have taken them off. Um, so, and they are made of a very heavy painted brass. Um, I think they are super cool. I might change the color down the road. I might just make them all black um, and keep them looking wrought iron. I think that'll be super, super cool. And they may just even work in my upstairs bathroom. So I actually styled just one of these pieces. I thought it was super sweet. I have a little quaint corner in my living room with a chair 
and a my little target plant you guys saw in my last video or two videos ago and I just think that it just looks so serene and so quaint there. So now I'm thinking, when do I want to post this? Because technically guys, this is Friday. Today is Friday and I post this video tomorrow. So there is no way, and it's almost five o'clock, that I am able to take photos and upload Vendi collections and do all of that. That takes a good half a day for me to get that all rolling. So. Follow me on Instagram right up here. I do very frequent posting. Again, I've been on a hiatus, but I will pick the page back up. I will start photographing things and showing you guys the release date. I'm thinking just next weekend. How about next Saturday? Does that sound like a good idea? Next Saturday, I think that I feel comfortable enough to get all the work done and present a very beautiful collection for you guys. So. Next Saturday um, at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can purchase all of these items that I'm about to show you in this haul today and other things that you will not see in this haul today. All right, so let's continue. So it seems like somebody might have given up their collection only because this was all from one store. And it seems like the tones, the colors, the textures, all kind of came from like the same household. I don't know, but that's what happened. So let me show you the next piece I got. So I got this, and this is a metal tray, super, super cool. Um, it has natural patina on there, and I believe it's more modern, but it's meant to look vintage, or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. It's made by Elements, I don't know. Um, nonetheless, this is super cool. You can put votive candles on here. Um, I styled mine right on my shelf in my dining room. I have three tiered shelves there and I laid it down and I put some of my marble, um, my little marble spheres on there just to kind of make it look a little bit more artsy. Um, again, I was even thinking of putting this up on my dresser with some perfume bottles or in the bathroom with some soaps. Um, so, so many ways that you can use this. I paid a dollar for this, maybe two. And I forgot, these sconces, I paid $1.99 each. They are super, super heavy. Here's the back, by the way. So the next thing I found, panning over to the top of the shelf, I saw, I thought it was a basket at first, but this was super cool. This is, I'm trying not to show my camera. <laughs> this is a mirror. Um, it's a seagrass mirror, and I think that this is so cool. Again, modern, organic, wabi-sabi, um, even boho, if you're into that. This can work for a few different um, styles, and it has a little mirror in there. And this is perfect for like a little entryway, a side corner of a wall that may be bare. This is cute for a small bathroom. Um, there's so many ways you can style this. I styled mine right in my front room to the right of one of my um, larger windows there with the olive tree. And I thought that that looked really, really cool. Um, it really popped against all the natural trees um, that is behind it and in front of it. So, um, so yeah, so this guy will be available. You guys can snatch this up next week on Saturday um, at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's keep going. So over on the other side and down below, um, I almost missed it. I'm almost always looking for pottery, first and foremost. That is what my eyes are trained to see. So I scour all the shelves and I look for pottery, right? So that's kind of like the first thing I'm looking at. And then everything else, you know, that jumps out at me is secondary. But I scanned through the first round and I didn't see anything. This guy here was down below where dishes were. So it looked like somebody probably picked it up and maybe decided against it. Oh my God, it's heavy. Look at this. This is ceramic. And look at these. I gotta bring this closer. Let me move this out of the way. Look at these very, very patina metal. This is made out of metal, like filigree work. Um, and here's the other one. It has a, like a little rust on there. I don't know if it's meant to look old or this is a really old piece. It appears that the, 
It appears that this vessel is really old, but not as old as you think. I think maybe it was from the 70s, um, dating it around there, um, only just because of how the paint, the paint color, um, just the work of it, you know, that's, I could be way off in that, but that's just my guess, very 70s. Um, it looks like it can be a primitive piece, um, especially with these um, metal accents. So, but this guy is huge. This is a good, probably 22 inches tall, super heavy. It does have one flaw here to the, just have one little tiny flaw, but who cares? I would actually just take some dark brown and with a sponge, just sponge it, just kind of like follow the same pattern as here. No, whatever, no. It is not a deep, it is just like almost like um, a flake, if you will. Like some of the paint had flaked off. Um, and that is it. Here's the bottom. And here's the top. So this vase I had actually styled in my main living room and I already had a vessel on there with this huge branch, but I just swapped them out and I put the branch back inside this one just to show you what it would look like completely dressed and styled in a living room on top of some books. Guys, this can look lovely on a shelf. This could look lovely just sitting on the floor with beautiful branches. The sky's the limit. Um, it has so much potential to just really, really bring um, so much charm into your room. So this was a great, great find and I am excited to post it for you guys. Somebody is going to own this and love it and send me a picture. All right. So I didn't film this. I don't know why, but I had actually purchased this um, bowl the day before and I held on to it because I was going to keep it but I realized I have a very similar one at home. Look at this bowl. Look at this. It has like, um, like an enamel to the corners there. I love it's a regular shape. Look at that. It's just, let me spin it around. It's not even and I love everything about it. And I paid $3.99 for that. <laughs> so, I styled the bowl right in my main room. Um, I have a very long antique wooden table there with some books, very simple. Um, the bowl just speaks for itself. It ha it's its own statement piece. And so I didn't feel like I needed to put anything in it or surround it with too many things. I think just on a beautiful minimal surface with some books to the side is all that it needs. It is absolutely gorgeous. So the next piece I found, I actually was already done shopping. I was going to leave and then I always do a second round. I always let my eyes refresh and kind of go back through the store and see what I've missed because my eyes, like I said in the beginning, are focused on key pieces, you know, pottery, sculptures, lamps, like those sort of like main things are like what's generating and going off in my brain. And so once all of that is out, then I can kind of like seek things that are really just beautiful and are just sitting there going, hello, here I am. And that's what these guys were. Look at this. Guys, my minimalist heart just leaped for these. These are candle holders from Mikasa. And you can see the label, right? That black label, which can be removed. They're also etched Mikasa Platinum. So this is a more of a higher end um, lead crystal. And guys, this these are just beautiful. They're called the Crescent. I think they have the little Crescent candle holder from Slovenia. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you guys love mixing minimalism and modern, these are just fabulous. Um, I thought I thought long and hard about parting with these, but again, I have similar ones that I had in a couple of other videos that I have kept. So I sell these right in this office. Um, the crystal just really just looked minimal and chic, and that's all this to it. Um, this can work in any room, any kind of decor. They're very neutral. I just adore the shape. The shape is just everything. They're just so beautiful.
All right, and then the last thing I found, um, I did not film because I actually was going to keep this piece, but I decided not to. It looks like a jellyfish to me. And at first I thought these were two pieces, but it's a full piece of art glass. I'm gonna show you. Look at that. The sticker's still on there, I paid $3.99. This is a piece of hand-blown Murano glass. Unfortunately, it is not signed. The tones are everything. It's so ethereal looking and light and just the tones are just so soft that, and so sculptural. I love anything that's sculptural and free form. And so I styled this piece right here to my right. And I just think, again, everything was minimal already in here and it sort of just looked beautiful just behind an all white background, just giving it its moment to shine. <laughs> I have a piece of artwork to the right that added a little bit of texture. And guys, this piece is just absolutely beautiful. All of my pieces are in excellent condition other than the noted little um, boo-boo on the right to this vase here. Everything is in mint condition. So guys, that is all that I have for you guys today. This is the entire haul. Again, I am just so super surprised on how everything just married together. Everything just seemed to be the same tones and textures. So I'm super excited to photograph it this week and have it ready for you guys next Saturday. Um, at Next Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will post the VendiCollections.com link right up here. It'll also be in my description box. You can click in my description box and take you right there to it. Um, and so yeah, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Guys, I do tons of thrifting, DIYs, home renovations, home decor shopping. If that's the kind of content that you enjoy watching, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this week. I'll see you in my next video soon.